With the rising costs of gas, more and more people are using electric bicycles as transportation to commute to work, run everyday errands such as shopping, or dropping the kids off at school. Because of this, utility bikes have gained increasing popularity in the e-bike market due to their versatility and ability to fit multiple roles as a car replacement. Utility e-bikes usually have more substantial rear cargo racks that are able to haul heavier loads than what can be found on a typical e-bike, and in many cases have the ability to carry an adult or multiple children as passengers. Recently, Hemiway released their latest e-bike that seems to be a real contender for the crown of the best value utility e-bike, the Hemiway Big Dog. He knows the big dog runs the show. That's you, baby, the big dog. Ruff, ruff. Big dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. With a sturdy frame design, cargo capacity, and impressive stats, the big dog appears to be more than just a silly name. The big dog's overall design seems to be about average for utility bikes of the same category. Compared to the Rand Runner Plus, for example, they are extremely similar. Step through style, 20 inch tires, large rear rack, etc. The total length of the Big Dog is 70 inches long, while the Rad Runner Plus is 71 and a half inches. The overall weight of the Big Dog is slightly heavier at 79 pounds, while the Rad Runner Plus comes in at 74. However, one thing that really stands out compared to the Rad Runner Plus is that the Big Dog is able to carry up to 400 pounds, while the Rad Runner Plus only able to hold 300, a whole 100 pounds more. Utility e-bikes are designed to be able to haul cargo, so many riders are going to want to be able to carry a lot of weight without issues. Keep in mind that this 400 pounds does include the weight of the rider. So in the US, the average adult male weighs about 200 pounds. This means that the Hemi Way is able to safely carry another 200 pound person on top of the rider's weight. The Rad Runner Plus is only able to carry half of that. That kind of extra capacity is pretty good, even for the longer cargo e-bike styled like the Rad Wagon, which has a capacity of only 350 pounds. The Big Dog comes exclusively in a step-through frame with a 16 and a half inch standover height, the exact same as the runners. The included rear rack for the Big Dog has a weight capacity of 150 pounds, which is pretty good compared to the typical e-bike rear rack, which is able to carry anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds on average. The Big Dog's 150 pound capacity is about 30 pounds more than what Rad rates the runner's rear rack to hold. If you plan on carrying an extra passenger though, I'm not seeing an optional seat that Hemiway sells that is able to attach to the Big Dog's rear rack. So even though it has the ability to carry someone on the rear, it appears that you may have to work out how to do that on your own. Maybe that's something coming down the line, but nothing as of yet. Another thing that I'm not seeing available, Hemiway shows an optional large rear rack, but I can't find a way to, to actually purchase it on their site. The rear rack that Hemiway has in their shop appears to be a smaller rack, and I don't see this larger rack anywhere as of yet. The Big Dog has the typical rear geared hub motor, however Hemiway makes note that the 750 watt motor is an upgraded brushless geared hub motor that is supposed to offer 86 newton meters of torque versus the standard 750 watt motor that normally sports just 80 newton meters. It's hard to say if you'll feel the difference of the extra 6 newton meters that Hemiway says the motor has or if it will indeed be guaranteed longer life expectancy that they claim or if that's just PR speak. As far as speed, the Big Dog is listed as a Class 2 e-bike. However, Hemiway says that if the settings are changed through the display, the Big Dog is able to reach 23 miles per hour with throttle. This can push it slightly past Class 2 into Class 3 territory, since Class 2 e-bikes have a cap at 20 miles per hour. The Big Dog comes with a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery that is fully integrated into the bike's frame and accessible from the bottom of the down tube. So there's no big bulky battery being attached to the outside of the frame. These types of batteries that have been designed to be integrated into the frame seem to be the direction most manufacturers are headed with newer e-bike models. Integrated or semi-integrated batteries can be nice since they look seamless and offer more protection against the elements, however they do make it difficult to mod or upgrade to a third-party battery if you decide to do so in the future. Unless you're actually using the stock battery, you're left with a gaping hole in your frame where the battery once went. The Big Dog comes with a 3 amp charger, a full 1 amp faster than the average charger that's included on new e-bikes. Having a 3 amp charger instead of a 2 amp charger doesn't sound like much, but charging times can be a major problem the bigger and bigger e-bike batteries get. Hemiway states that this charger is able to fill the bike's battery in 7 hours. This battery motor combo will give you an estimated 60 to 80 miles using pedal assist. I'd estimate at least half that range if you're using throttle only though. 
Many different factors go into range estimates, so please keep in mind that the range that you'll get in everyday situations will probably be shorter. It looks as though that the big dog has no rear suspension. It does have a front coil suspension with 80 millimeters of travel. Many riders consider a front fork suspension a must-have, and at the big dog's price point, I'd be shocked that it didn't come with one. Boo this man! The brakes on the big dog are pretty standard. Tektro mechanical disc brakes with 180 mm rotors seem to be the typical component for Hemiwa e-bikes. However, due to supply shortages, most companies are deviating from this staple. Hemiwa doesn't list the actual manufacturer, so the true components will probably vary or be unbranded. However, at a $2,000 price, I would have hoped to see the bike come equipped with hydraulic brakes instead of mechanical, especially if you're going to be riding around at full speed with 400 pounds on the bike. It doesn't seem that Hemiway has a hydraulic brake upgrade option on their site. However, there are third-party options if you really want to switch those out. The Big Dog comes equipped with 20 by 4 inch knobby fat tires, which are becoming one of the most common tire types on e-bikes these days. So there's no proprietary non-standard tire on the Big Dog in case you need a replacement tire or an inner tube. However, what is not typical are the wheels themselves. Most bikes in general have 36 spoked rims. However, the Big Dog comes with solid metal wheels. I'll call them mag wheels, however, these are not in fact actually made of magnesium, as the name implies. They are actually made of cast aluminum, but it's just a common term for wheels of this type. Wheels of this type are great for stability while riding, especially at higher speeds, and require much less overall maintenance, since you would never need to tighten spokes or true the wheel over time. However, unlike spoked wheels, which can be repaired easily if needed, these types of singular wheels need to be replaced entirely if, if anything goes amiss or is damaged. If you're within the included two-year limited warranty, then Hemiway would more than likely take care of the replacement. However, once the warranty expires, the cost of that would fall upon you, so keep that in mind. As mentioned, Hemiway provides a limited two-year warranty with the Big Dog. Most companies around this price point provide a limited one-year warranty on their e-bikes, but slowly more and more are beginning to offer a two-year warranty instead. This is a trend that I'm glad to see. The Big Dog comes with a typical bicycle saddle, so it's easily able to be adjusted or even replaced with a more comfortable seat desired. Many moped style utility e-bikes of this design are adopting a fixed position seat, such as Hemiway's other model, the Escape Pro, or the Juiced Scrambler. The Big Dog comes with a center dual kickstand, which makes loading and unloading of cargo or child passengers much more stable. It's also nice when you have to take off a wheel or to change a flat, since it elevates a tire. Other components that are standard on most e-bikes of this caliber are the large LCD display screen. This includes information such as the speedometer, odometer, pedal assist level, wattage power level, trip time, and etc. This display also gives you the option of plugging in a USB cable to charge your phone or other USB powered device. It also gives you the ability to unlock the bike past the class 2, 20 mile per hour speed limit. However, as I mentioned, it doesn't seem to be able to give you the, the full class 3 speed unlock of 28 miles per hour. The Big Dog comes with Hemiway's standard half-grip twist throttle that is almost the industry standard on e-bikes at this point. The Big Dog includes front and rear plastic fenders right out of the box. As far as the drivetrain, the Big Dog comes with the 7-speed Shimano gear system. The gear in appears to be a 14 to 28 tooth freewheel in the back and a 46 tooth chain ring at the crank. So this means you may run out of pedal input as you inch past the 20 mile per hour top speed. However, those are relatively cheap and easy enough to switch out if you desire. Much like every other e-bike in Hemiway's lineup, the color options are pretty sparse. Most Hemiway e-bikes are limited to only one or at most two color choices per bike. The Big Dog just comes in one color option. I suppose you could call it a dark slate or a gray charcoal. To me, color availability is nice to have, but it shouldn't make or break a purchase. However, I know there are some out there that feel color personalization of a bike is very important. The price on the Big Dog is currently listed at $2,099, with a sale discounted price of $19.99. Hemiway does not specify when this sale will end. There aren't a lot of hidden costs for the purchase of this bike, and it comes with most basic items that an e-bike should come with. Since the Big Dog does lack of rear suspension, a suspension seat post may be a wise add-on if you plan on riding in extra bumpy terrain. This would add on anywhere from $20 to $30 for your basic cheap suspension seat post on Amazon or $100 plus for more premium options. 
As I mentioned earlier, Hemingway alludes to an optional extra large rear rack, however it's unclear what the price of this secondary rack is or when it will be available. If I were to speculate, I'd assume it'd be at least double the price of the regular sized rear rack. The regular rack is listed at $80, so I'd assume this larger rack would be at least around $160. Other than those items, there really aren't a lot of optional components that would drive up the big dog's overall cost for your average buyer. Not really something I would consider as a hidden cost, but a replacement battery hasn't been listed on Hemiway's site, so we don't know what the exact cost for that as of yet. However, based on the prices of other Hemiway batteries, I'd say a replacement or a secondary battery would be around $600 if you were looking to purchase another battery to switch out on long rides. In short, the Hemiway Big Dog seems to be a great utility e-bike for the price. I like the battery size and cargo weight capacity of the bike, and it looks clean and very well put together. There are some things I would have hoped would be different, like hydraulic brakes, as well as more transparency with what parts and options would be available in the future, like extra batteries or optional large rear rack, but we can only assume those are coming down the line. If you're looking for a bike that can fit various different roles, then the Big Dog Big dog! Ruff, 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 ruff. Just may be the choice for you. As always, these are my own opinions. I don't get paid by Hemiway for saying anything, or was given a big dog e-bike to review. I do, however, have the standard refer a friend discount link in the description of this video, where you can get $60 off the purchase of any Hemiway e-bike if you decide to pick one up. Regardless, I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. If you did, please click the thumbs up or like button and maybe leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. As always, thank you for watching.